This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Today we are going to be discussing quadratic trinomials. Now you should remember that we did trinomials in grade 9. And if you look at the form ax squared plus bx plus c, the value of a in grade 9 is 1. In other words, we will have 1x squared plus 8x plus 20, but we know that the 1 is invisible. So let's look at how we would factorize this particular trinomial. Now there are two types of trinomials, one with a positive last term. In this case, both brackets will carry the same sign as the middle term. And the second type is one with a negative last term. In this case, we will have one positive bracket in our answer and one negative bracket. So let's look at x squared plus 8x minus 20. The first thing we are going to do is write down the factors of the last term. The factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10 and 4 and 5. So what we need to do is we need to look at these pairs and see which of these pairs will add up to the middle term. Let's just go back quickly and see whether this is a type 1 or type 2 trinomial. The last term is negative and if the last term is negative then what happens? We'll have 1 plus and 1 minus in our brackets in the answer, right? Do you remember that? Okay, so let's look at our pairs. Now, when we multiply these pairs, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5, we need to get 20. But when we add or subtract them, we need to get the middle term. So whatever our answer is here in terms of multiplication, we must get the last term. But when we add or subtract, it needs to add up to the middle term. So which of these pairs will add up to the middle term? Can you tell me? 1 and 20, will that add up to 8? No. 2 and 10, will that add up to 8? It will if the 2 is negative and the 10 is positive. So let's add our signs. So negative 2 plus 10 is equal to positive 8x. So what we do now is we take our variable and we say x minus 2 and then x again, write it down there, and plus 10. So our answer is x minus 2, x plus 10. That's the revision of the grade 9 trinomials. Let's do a grade 10 trinomial. Let's look at 15p squared minus 19p plus 6. What do you notice here? You notice that the a value is now greater than 1. This means that there'll be extra steps. Now this method is different to the cross method that you do at school, um, but have a look at it and see if you are comfortable with it. Also check with your teacher if they are happy with you using this method. Okay, if you've written down the factors of 90, you should have 1 and 90, 2 and 45, 3 and 30, 5 and 18, 6 and 15, and 9 and 10. Now, we spoke about type 1 and type 2 trinomials. The same rule applies. The last term is positive. The last term is positive, And if the last term is positive, both brackets will have a negative sign in them. The third step is to see which of these factor pairs add up to the middle term. So which pair adds up to negative 19? What do you think? If you said 9 and 10, that would be correct. But what should the signs be? It's a type 1 trinomial. Type 1 trinomial because the last term is positive. And if the last term is positive, both brackets must have the same sign as the middle term, which is negative. And if we add up negative 9 and negative 10, does it give us negative 19? Yes, it does. So now what we do is we open two brackets and carry down the first term of the expression without the square of the exponent. In other words, 15p 
and 15 p we write it in both brackets and now what we're going to do is we're going to add negative 9 and negative 10 so now what we do is we take out our common factor and we are going to cancel it so look at each bracket what's common in the first bracket if there is no common factor there's no need to take anything out but does the first bracket have a common factor yes it does the common factor is 3 look at the second bracket does the second bracket have a common factor yes the common factor is 5 and so we take out the 5 and we left with 3p minus 2 what do we do now we cancel those common factors that leaves me with 5p minus 3, 3p minus 2, and that's your answer. So let's look at our next example. We have 3x squared plus 20x minus 32. Now this is a type 2 trinomial because the last term is negative, which means we'll have a plus minus in our answer. What is our first step? Our first step is to multiply the first term and the last term. That gives us 96. So these are the factors of 96. 1 and 96, 2, 48, 3 and 32, 4 and 24, 6 and 16, 8 and 12. Which of these pairs add up to positive 20? Can you tell me? If the 4 is negative and 24 is positive, this will give us positive 20. What's our next step? Do you remember? Our next step is to write down the first term without the square on the variable. Let's do that quickly. Now that we've done that, let's fill in our factors. Our next step is to look for the common factors in both brackets. Is there a common factor in the first bracket? No, there isn't. Is there a common factor in the second bracket? Yes, there is. Let's take out that common factor and cancel it. That gives me an answer of 3x minus 4, x plus 8. Thank you for watching with us. Please feel free to subscribe and to share this video with your friends. Keep well.